We know that if we have n people, there are n factorial different orders in which we can line all of them up. However, what if we wanted to find out how many ways n people could be arranged if they were sitting in a powwow circle? In a circle, there would be no difference between the first and last positions that we have in a line. In a line, if I were to shift each number by one spot, we would get 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which would be a new order. But in a circle, if I shift each one by one, we'd get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is not a new order because we could have just rotated the circle to do that. So the point is that shifting each person in the powwow by one person is no longer a new permutation. For this particular circle, there are six different ways we can rotate each permutation that would have created a new permutation if this was a line, but can no longer be counted as a distinguishable permutation, because it's a circle, and it's continuous. So remember, for a line of length n, there are n factorial different arrangements of elements we can make. And for a circle, we'll have to divide this by n so that we don't count all the ways we can rotate it. And that will give us n minus 1 factorial. Because if n was 6, remember, it would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if we're dividing by 6, then that cancels off this n minus 1 factorial. And that is our formula for circular permutations. The number of things in the circle, minus 1 factorial.